it's very important to know how to develop your lambda function locally as well so once you write your code on your machine then you can move it to your production aws or your development or qa aws so in this uh, video we are going to see how we will be writing our hello world lambda function locally so this is our uh, hello world lambda function we have created i'll just copy this and i'm going to create a new file locally so in this folder i'm going to create a new file and i'm going to call it hello.js i'm going to open it and paste our code over here now I'll just write a logging statement console.log so here this is our lambda function now we want to invoke it locally so this lambda function our handler function takes in three parameters the event object the context and the callback method and then it calls the callback method with error and the mess and the message or the output but the error we are passing is null so now let's simulate this locally so i'm going to write another lambda function i'm just going to name it as invoker.js here First of all, I'm going to call our or include our hello.js and I'm going to declare a variable with the method name that we are going to invoke. So it's handler in our lambda function and now we are going to simulate the event object so it will look something like this remember our event object from the hello world example you can also simulate the context but we are not going doing anything with context right now so let me just keep it blank we are also going to define our callback function which we pass remember it has two parameters error and data so we are first we are going to log the error which the lambda function passes in our case it will be null ideally it will be null if we invoke our lambda function and now let's call our lambda function so it will be lambda function using this variable function handler the name of our function I'm going to pass in our event our context and our callback so I'm going to save it so here we have our lambda function that we copied and here's our invoker that will invoke our lambda passing in the event object the context object and the callback method and it's going to invoke our function so let's run it so here i am inside the directory where these two files are located and i'm going to type node invoker.js so basically it called our lambda function and printed loading lambda function hello urban which is the logging statement over here then it get, calls our callback method so we are back to our invoker it prints the error which is null and then it prints the data which we passed which is hello urban so that's the data that we have passed back so that's what we have printed over here so ideally you can use this template to write your own lambda functions and instead of directly writing it in production environment you can first try it locally and then you can uh, move this code 
uh, the lambda the hello.js or whatever is your js file you can move it to production so you can also simulate a lot of events locally like there's a local dynamo db module available so you can run dynamo db locally as well so first you can test it there and then move your code to production and also there is some modules available that can simulate s3 locally uh, so you can use that modules as well so basically the aim of this video was to give you an idea of how to write a lambda code locally or how to get started with it and then you can add on to this function